Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee again. So we've been kind of working on buttoning up all these little uh, details and things I need to go back and just refine a little bit better before we get into our body work. Uh, one thing I did in a uh, kind of like split episode with the exhaust uh, redo was I made up these, these cool little um, radiator rods and uh, they worked out pretty well. I originally planned on drilling a hole in the firewall. Well, I did drill a hole, whoops, in the firewall and changed my mind, go figure. Uh, what I decided is I wanted a little more adjustability that I could um, kind of push the radiator a little forward to get it kind of sitting exactly at the right angle that I wanted it to be. And I thought it'd be better to kind of take a cue from a later uh, Henry Ford design and that is using these little Model A radiator stay rod clip firewall bracket things. Um, I searched and searched all my piles of parts with all the bins of parts I have and all the cars that I've taken apart and hunting for parts. Somehow I'm surprised sometimes when there's parts that I don't know why I don't have them and none of my friends have them. So I had to do the horrible thing and go online and order a press steel set of these uh, brackets. So what I'm going to work on is filling the holes in the firewall today and getting these uh, fixed to the firewall so that our rods are kind of mounted in place and we can move on to uh, kind of fixing any other spots on the firewall of the car.
All right, so I got the, uh, the two brackets all screwed in place. Uh, kind of the hero of this whole entire project was definitely using uh, that RivNut tool. Uh, since I've grabbed that thing, I've been using the crap out of it. That isn't because I'm trying to push the product for any particular reason. It's just something that I've never had before. And in the past, I've done it like the hard way by um, tack welding nuts to the backside of, uh, of panels. And while that does work, it created a lot of extra work for this. With the RevNut tool, I was able to just quickly drill my pilot hole, dr drill my hole for the the, uh, the size of the threaded insert, uh, put that in and, uh, and flare it out so that it fits. And it was perfect for this job. So mounting all these little pieces on the car, I'm gonna be using the crap out of it. And again, it was helpful here. Uh, then at the end there, you saw where I pulled them back off and I used my, uh, my TIG welder to just fill those holes up. Uh, sometimes I will make the pieces out of, I'll make a little round circle and, uh, and take it in place, but it often takes quite a long time to make those little pieces. And uh, as you get better at TIG welding and, and kind of refine your skills, you can fill some pretty decent sized holes with some big filler rod. If you run it really hot and really fast and just shove the filler rod in, you can fill it up and put probably not much more heat in than you would trying to weld in a little, a little filler panel. So in this instance, I was kind of running, running to the end of the night and I just wanted to get it filled and blended. So I just filled it in, minimal warpage because the panel was all tied in with beads and, and right near an edge there. So I wasn't too worried about it warping. So went really well. So I got the rods in, got them all tightened down. Uh, I need to play a little bit more with, uh, with how much I thread these rods and maybe trimming the ends down to just get them exactly right. But uh, they're really sturdy now, which is the key. The radiator is nice and tight. We got it mounted at the bottom with our springs. We got our uh, stay rods at the top and uh, that part of the project is pretty much done. So quick little video for this week. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these, these quick little updates as we get closer to doing body work on the T. It's gonna be a lot of these types of videos. So uh, for anybody that hasn't followed these videos before, on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, we do videos. Uh, as always, please hit the subscribe button and uh, drop us a comment. What do you think of the, the uh, radiator rods? I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks guys, catch you later.